Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the REC Podcast, brought to you by the REC Toycast. I am your host, Roman Chavez, and with me as always... Eric Icarus, the Southern Dandy. The Southern Dandy. You don't get to call yourself things. <laughs> I was going to call you my most favorite endangered species, all right? Um, you can follow us on Instagram at REC Podcast. You can follow myself at Roman REC Podcast. And you can follow the endangered species himself, just running around... Looking for things to endanger, all right? Uh, kids, if you haven't noticed, I'm a little under the weather. Yes. So the the bra, it, it doesn't have the oomph that There's it usually no does. There's today. no oomph. So, so there's uh, a lot of oomph today. Look, the, the switch is on, battery's low, <laughs> and uh, and that's just where we live. But we're going to try our best. Um, got a few things to talk about, as always. Um, did you watch the big game? Uh, I did watch pieces of it. You did watch pieces yeah, of it, yeah. Uh-huh. Were those were those pieces of my broken heart? Yes, they were. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Niners fan over here. Yeah, I uh, I do enjoy uh, me some 49ers and 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 the Denver Broncos, and uh, so I've been spoiled probably the last ten years. Been getting a lot of uh, appearances from my teams, but only one Super Bowl of those four appearances between the two. So yeah, it was a little <laughs> rough. And and you don't know this, but the no. Chiefs no. are um, in the Broncos division. Mm-hmm. So like. I don't want my division rivals to win either. So right. whatever. Congratulations to the Chiefs. Andy Reid, you deserve it. Um, but I hate you. Um, <laughs> but with that came something that I didn't know was going to drop uh, during the Super Bowl. Um, you know, the commercials aren't as good as they used to be. But this year's were pretty good. Uh, did you see the Jason Momoa one? Yes. That one had me rolling. Oh, my it was God. Good. It was so funny. funny. Um, but the Disney Plus yes. 32nd. Uh, just Marvel, it's you know, teaser, yeah, you for for WandaVision, Loki, and uh, which Falcon. And, Falcon. and guys, I apologize, I'm going to be coughing a lot more than normal, so bear with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was a shock to me, too. Wow. I, I did not expect to see it. Did you see it live, or was it after I sent it to you? When you sent it to okay. me, I did okay. not see it live, dude. Uh. Yeah, it was uh, it was nice to see on a big TV. Oh, I'm sure. Because um, obviously when I send it to you, you're watching it on a phone. But right. um Initial reactions was, and you know the group of people that that uh, that I know watched it, you know everybody's excited. Yeah, yeah. People who were like, oh, like this is who clearly don't listen to our show. We're like, <laughs> oh, this is going to be like a big deal, and it's You're like, right. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it was, been, you know? yeah. You know, it's like you know we have these quote friends, and they're yeah, not yeah. listening to the podcast. You know who you are. Oh, you know who you are. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, what was so cool about it to me. Mm-hmm. Was that I felt like I was watching Avengers trailers. Oh, I, I didn't feel like I was watching uh, trailers for a TV show. So you got that. You got the cinematic excitement. Yes. Okay. Yes, just in those those quick clips, and oh my gosh. Um, uh, let's come back to WandaVision because sure. I think that one seems the most interesting. For me, that's the one I was most excited for. Yeah. Besides, what if? Oh yeah, what if's going to be cool? Yeah, but uh, WandaVision was my was Scarlet Witch hands down in my top five. Yeah, in my top five favorite characters. Yeah. Um, but let's 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 go out the gate. Let's do Winter Soldier Falcon. Yeah. Let's talk about how real quick that what ten second blurb we got. Yeah. That cinematically, it was beautiful the way the bullets were dropping. Zemo. Mm, Zemo. Oh my I gosh. Mean, we would be open up with that. Uh, spot with the shield and the tree. Mm-hmm. You can tell Falcon Sam, Sam is practicing yeah. his throws with yeah. the shield. But like Sam's not super strong. No. And you gotta like throw that pretty yeah, hard. So man, man. so I'll, I'll I can forgive that just because I want to see it. Um, I liked how they kind of didn't show us Sam in a Captain America right uh, outfit. He was still in his Falcon. Still gear. Still in his Falcon gear. We saw what the government's trying to do, which is our U.S. agent, yes. uh, uh, Captain I'm America replacement. So excited for that. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the fact that because uh, uh, what's his name, John Walker, John Walker, John Walker, yes. uh, John Walker as and I like John Walker as a character. They don't use him we might enough. Do a little bio uh, on, on U.S. Uh, agent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe not here. Yeah, but, but give us the quick. Give us the. Uh... So you know, it's just uh, one of my favorite. Uh, to- I believe it's Tony Stark um, in Civil War. Um, after Captain America's dead, Tony is processing it differently, and he's really, really trying to like replace Captain well, America. He's thinking logically. Yeah, and, need a Captain America. And in and in, in, in Civil War, he really tries to goad um, Hawkeye into okay. picking up, Clint, taking up the mantle. Like, yeah. yeah, he tries it, and it's this great scene where like Cap puts on or Clint puts on the costume, and Tony and him go out on like a mission, and they're it's actually the Young Avengers are you know they're not registered. And so they're going to apprehend the Young Avengers. And it's this great thing because at this point in comics, Clint had been 
uh, quote unquote dead. Sure. But then after the events of House of M, he's kind of brought back to life sure. and and this and that. And it's this great moment where he's apprehending the Young Avengers. I mean, just mopping the floor with them because you know Clint's an experienced fighter. Yeah. Obviously, the, the, the Hawkeye. Yeah. yeah, yeah, trained by Cap. And uh, uh, the last, per- like the the Young Avengers are jumping into the sewer, and the last person to get in is 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 Hawkeye, the the Kate Bishop, the female Hawkeye. Oh wow! And it's this great scene, and I don't think you've read it. I think you'd love it, where she's like, "Who are you supposed to be?" And he's like, "I'm Captain America." And he sees her bow, and he's like, "Who are you supposed to be?" And she's like, I'm Hawkeye. And he's like, and she's like, you're not Cap. And uh, he's like, well, who do you th- who gave you that name? And she says, Steve Rogers gave me this name. Ooh. And it's true. Like, Steve gives her the mantle of, of, Hawkeye. of Hawkeye because at that point, Hawkeye had gone. been dead. Yeah. So Steve names her Hawkeye. And then she sees, you know, she doesn't know that this is Clint Barton. Yeah. And so he lets him go. And, and, and Tony's like, what are you doing? And uh, we got to take them in. And he's like, you almost got me. <laughs> he's like, you almost you got almost me. Had me. Yeah, he gives him the shield. And he's like, I'll send the suit back when I get to where I'm going. And he just leaves. And it's this great scene. So John Walker is, is, is the governor. You know, it, it was a great – and the line that I was going to talk about too, yeah. like that line was great. But then there was another line where Tony says to Hawkeye, America still needs a captain. Yeah, right. And I love that idea. And I think that it's important. And yeah. I think that that's what we're going to get with John Walker. Totally. And it was kind of – um, um, the government's like, hey, Captain America's been dead. We need a new Captain America, right, a new right. Bucky. And uh, it's not Rick Flagg. It's, I can't remember who it's... takes up the mantle of Bucky. But after Cap and, 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 and uh, uh, Bucky go on the ice or, you know, die, yeah. um, you know, they're trying to keep morale up. So they put a new Captain America out there. And John Walker is, is one of the attempts. Sure. So it's cool because obviously we know that Cap, you know, quote unquote dies. Right. And so John Walker, I think, is going to be, you know, trying to take up the mantle, sure. and it's just not going to happen. No. I, I'm wondering. Initially, I want to think that they might go the route where they give him kind of that janky super soldier serum, and it makes him weird. Right. You know, it doesn't do like it's not complete. Right. So because well, in the comics, he's way stronger than Captain America. I think at first, and then I think they kind of, they, I think they bring it down oh, they down do? the okay, road. Like back in the eighties, he was like Spider Man level. Yeah, because you know, because they didn't get it right. They don't have Erskine's uh, formula, right. so they're just doing their own thing. He's super jacked. So I, I and and I may be remembering this wrong. You guys can tell us in the comments, but I think. You remember Nuke? Yes. Uh, oh, Nuke, Nuke oh, was – yeah, Nuke. you love Nuke. Yeah. yeah from Nuke, Nuke, Nuke's an attempt at being – making Captain yes. America. All of these things. So every time they try to redo it, it was just – it was lightning in a bottle, yep. you know, because even Red School is not, not proper, no, no, you no. know. So, so yeah, we see John Walker at a game. Well, I assume it's John Walker, yeah. um, which I'd like to have a glass of that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I just think it looks so good. Like it look, and I think there's only going to be like six, maybe eight episodes. I'm okay with that. I am too. I, I don't. I'd rather have a long movie, mm-hmm. or, you know, kind of span out over. Eight yeah, and it'll still be longer than a movie. Like, You're right. Like how True Detective did that perfect. Very much so. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a long eight hour movie. I'm mm-hmm. okay with that, as opposed to being serialized like a. Uh, Agents of Shield, which works great as a TV show. Yes, yes. So you know, you're bringing us these um, heroes from the big screen down to you know Disney Plus, but you're still giving us the scope of a movie, which I think you know they know what they're doing and it. it's yeah. shot like a movie. And it's gonna have the Disney budget behind oh, it. Yeah. It's not gonna be like Agents of Shield, where like you're like, Agency oh, budget. please stop sending, please stop trying to have flying cars in this show. Yeah, right, it right. doesn't work. It doesn't look good. <laughs> it just doesn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited because I think towards the end of the, the season one, because I don't know if they're going to be multiple seasons. I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I think this is, they're going to see how well this does. Yeah. And they're going to go from there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it might end with, you know, uh, Sam, you know, taking up the mantle. Finally taking it up. Which I'm fine with. Yeah. Oh, new, new Avengers. Like, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. it. Um, and then just the quick clip of Loki. Yeah. Even quicker than the other ones. Oh, yeah. Um, it's the furthest place in the ground. Yeah, dude, Tom Hiddleston is so good, and I do believe it's going to be post uh, uh, Endgame. Yeah. So, now correct me if I'm wrong. Were we, weren't we under the impression that this was going to be like a Loki origin movie? Right. Yes. And that Tom Hiddleston was just going to have a minor role? Like, or narrate it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know where I was getting that from because this did not look like that. No, it looked like it's it's him that took the Tesseract. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that Loki. Yes. Is this going to be the Loki who takes it 
in the alternate timeline. That's what. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? I think okay, so I, think I, did, I didn't. I didn't take that until you just said yeah, it. Okay, I think it's going to be yeah. Loki, and he's you know he has the test right, so obviously he's going to get access to a lot of yeah. Oh, so I'm dead in this timeline. Yeah. This Thanos did this, that, and the other thing. <coughs> I got information. Oh man, yeah. that, that's interesting. Like they're gonna tie, it, like they could use this to tie up that loose end. Oh, big time! It's an anomaly, yes. and then it, and then it gives us our villainous Loki again. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. And we probably get a nice Chris Hemsworth cameo here and there. God, that'd be great. I mean, that'd, that'd be, be great. Guys, step in yeah. one episode. Yeah. Or at the end, they're gonna start. Uh, they're gonna start working that into people's contracts. Like, hey, we're gonna have you um, in the big movies, but right. we also need need a couple appearances in the shows. So totally. just to we're gonna, we they're really trying to tie these things in together. Right. It's, I'm excited for that. You know, I'm, I'm glad he's back. I'm glad Tom, Loki and Tom, are, aka Tom Hiddleston, is back. Tom Hiddleston has redefined that character the exact same way that that RDJ redefined Iron Man. Sure. And I mean, we love him. Girls love him. I mean, I, I think him. I don't know. I don't know if Disney knew what they were doing when nope. they cast him. Nope. But I guess it wasn't Disney at the time. No. It was pre. It was it's pre still Disney. Marvel. Tom he Hiddleston vaguely looked like him. I mean, vaguely. Right. Because I always remember Loki as being kind of that old, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you know, one of those he, guys. He also got a little of that in the first Thor movie. But he's like, yeah, but he's like smooth. He's smooth. He's that, got that devil may care attitude. Yeah. You know, he, he's a wounded puppy. Yeah. Women love that stuff, yeah. baby. But he's a bad boy mm -hmm. with, a, with a purpose. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Loki's been arguably, he's one of my favorite characters of all of the MCU. Oh, yeah. Easily. For me, he, Tom Middleton, as Loki, redefined um, a, a villain for me. Yeah. A, a, a rooting for a villain. Yeah. Rooting I wanted for, yeah. Loki to win. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know if I want him to win, but I definitely don't want him to die. Sure. So. But you see his points on this. Yeah. You know, yeah. Being slighted. Yeah. And like, you know what? I, I, I want to prove, it's all about daddy issues. My I birthright is to be king. There you go. Your birthright was to die. There you go. You know, like, oh. It's going to be great. Man. Yeah. I mean. Right out the gate, those two, I'd have been, I would have been fine with just those two. Mm -hmm. Then you're giving me one division, which looks like the it's the looks like it's going to be the most ambitious oh, of the yeah. three. Oh yeah. Um, <coughs> this is the one that could either soar high and be <coughs> completely lauded over, or it's going to fail miserably, spectacularly. I think this is the one that they want to be their their the hammer in the room. Sure. You know, sure. they 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 were swinging hammers. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And it looks interesting because uh, I'm sure you have the same type of theory. We're going to have pieces of vision in Wakanda. Of course. So her connection to that, maybe she's like, I can bring him back, right. you know, through that or whatever. Sure. But the whole idea of making it kind of sitcom y. Yeah. Because there was kind of like an. Uh, I uh, love Lucy vibe an, going. I love Lucy, married with children. Sure. And, and you can see she's not really like sure what's going on yeah. where we're seeing vision kind of in that gray look right but we're seeing her in color and more importantly in the classic costume yes like what is going to be the point of that like what is like what's going on right i i have a theory I, well, I, please, it, lay it, on us. it ties into your, what, what you were saying and i and i think it's her trying to bring vision back mm -hmm. and this is where we're going to get the, the multiverse of madness it's her trying to dip into different multiverses trying to get vision back yeah. And I think this is where it's going to tie right into Doctor Strange. Like, yeah. Okay. Because they're saying Wanda, you're screwing around with stuff, and now things are coming through what you opened. Yeah, the things are coming through what you're open, or they're taking notice that an Earthling, yeah. a mortal, is like right. doing this. Yeah. Um, and then obviously her powers are linked. Like I always thought it would be interesting if because her powers derive from the stones in right. the movies, like the stones don't exist anymore. So right. like, are her powers powers going to be? fluky or weird right. i don't know which i think that's why it's glitchy yeah yeah she, that's she true has no control over it no. because the, the stone was anchoring her power yeah that's gone, true so she's got to harness it herself and she's like what am i doing yeah and she's obviously bereaved mm -hmm. so she has she can't focus yeah man she is like i think they are really i i really do think that they're laying the groundwork for house of m house of m is a fantastic storyline that has to do with wanda changing things changing things and if we learned anything from uh, Hal Jordan in uh, Emerald uh, Twilight, when you try to fix things with your powers, it tends to backfire. Yeah. It tends to backfire. I, I love when Batman talks to Hal as the Spectre and he says, like, oh, are you fixing things again? You know? And, That's awesome. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very – it was the most provocative of the, of oh, the three. Oh, 
Um, they, they and that was the one that probably had the most screen time. Oh, for sure. And man, I loved seeing her in that old. Oh, script. it was great. I love seeing it because it's like, oh yeah, this would never work. No, like I love. But it was cool. For but it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I was great, great fan for. Her. I think Elizabeth Olsen is gorgeous. Right. I think she's a really strong actress. She acts circles around those her richer sisters. Oh yeah, who don't do who don't, don't do, do, anything. do anything. Yeah, but I think that she's. Um, I am, you know, side side note, I, I am bummed that the Olsen twins didn't show up at all in Fuller House. I know. Works. I didn't watch all of it, but I watched one season and, you know, yeah. it, it hit all the nostalgia buttons. But it's just like, man, one time, on. one yeah. time Michelle can't yeah, show just, up. Yeah, just the sticker at him like, hey, yeah. what's up? You know? But yeah, they didn't seem to care at first, all. First, they didn't show up and then uh, and Becky's going to prison. <laughs> Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Uh, I think they should write it in the show. The, the big house. <laughs> <laughs> fuller, fuller, bigger house. <laughs> like I can, I can see like they get right into the show, like her trying to get her uh, Nikki and Alex into college. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. that would have been hilarious. <laughs> and Uncle Jesse used his uh, uh, Ripper Ripper's money, money to, to to buy them into into college. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that's the the that's Fuller the House I want to see. Yeah, me too. And I want to see her in prison, um, dealing with prison stuff. Oh God. Yeah, did you hear that? Lori Laughlin had got like it's very much like that Get Hard movie. Like she got like a <laughs> she got like a prison coach to like help her get yeah. through her time. Oh God, it's like yeah, be Queen Latifah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Right? There we go. It's appealed to a broader audience. <laughs> um, but all in all, man, I think that thirty second that was the best thirty seconds of commercials for me. Um, it just got me. It got me really, really excited. And it I, took the sting away of losing a lot of our favorite characters in Endgame. Yeah. And it's making me hopeful again for, for MCU. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in these times of seeing MCU, like, okay, what are they going to, what's their next move? Mm -hmm. We get the next move now. And wow. So yeah. we, we're going to be okay. Yeah. Everybody's going to be, and it's going to be amazing. And it's going to be entertaining. Like, yeah. that's all we want. We just want, we want our characters that we grew up with, that our dads grew up with, right. just being treated with some type of reverence, sure. being treated with like, not kid gloves, just like, hey, we want to make something for everybody. Right. We want to make something that that's an event. Yes. You know, comics used to be an event. Big time. And I mean, they still have their big crossovers sure, and everything like that. Like when we it's were not kids what it was. Or when, uh, yeah. Our, our dads were kids. Yeah. You know, it's it's definitely. They, they, they're creating, they've created the event, and I'm definitely along for oh, the ride. Oh, me too. I'm excited. You know? I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to take a quick turn, though. Yes. And uh, and I don't know if you heard. What's up? Kirk Douglas passed away today. I heard about that. Man, 103 years yeah, old. Finally. What a gangster, though, right? Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't even, it was like, when Kobe died, I was a little bothered. Oh, man, that's sad. Yeah. He's so young. Kirk Douglas was like... I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, you need to go good. Dude, I mean, dude, I mean, we saw him on TV just a couple years ago, yeah. still pretty there. Sure. You know? I mean, he looked terrible Ugh, yeah. because he's 103 <laughs> years old. Um, but, oh, man, what, a, what an amazing career. Sure. What an amazing life. What an amazing um, – I love Michael Douglas. I mean, in the MCU tie-in. There you go. Crossover. Ooh, there we go. You know, he got – you know, he's our, our, our Hank Pym. Yeah. And um, for all intents and purposes, I mean – for me, the you know Spartacus, obviously, uh, uh, twenty thousand leagues under the yeah. sea. Tough I, guys. I love. Yeah, I know. I love watch. I love like that's what like the physique of like a like a fit dude was. Back then. <laughs> Jesus, it's so like you're you're fitter than than Michael than Kirk Douglas was <laughs> back then. You know, you you got way more muscle than than, than Kirk <laughs> Douglas, but. You know, the guy was a, a solid actor, he was great. and for all intents and purposes, a pretty decent dude. Um, you know, yeah, sure. given the time, sure. and I mean, I think if I'm not wrong, that might be the last of that ilk. I think you're. Right. I think. That's I think. Gotta be. I think he was the that's last it. one that's it. from that golden age of of Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. You know, actually, literally being there before Hollywood was even an idea. Yeah. And then then getting into it, and then being in there when the movie boom happened, and then rising. As a star and, and making tying it back to events, he made movies events. Yes, yes. I mean, you know, you know I might watch Spartacus because of this. Like, you again, you know, you know we watch it in school, but sure. Um, yeah, it's it's just interesting, and I mean, it's it's cool to celebrate a, a life that that lived that long where you got pretty decent kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they stayed in the business. They're sure. still they're still contributing. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, just pour one out for for, pour, for Kirk. Pour you know, Kirk Douglas, pour, pour one out for Kirk Douglas. Tough guys forever. Him yeah. and Burt Lancaster. Jesus. <laughs> 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 they were tough yeah. Guys. yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Charles Bronson too, man. But well, Charles, Charles Bronson. Dude, Charles Bronson died in like in the 80s, right? No. No, 90s? 90s yeah. Okay. <laughs> man. 
Ah, anyway, yeah, yeah I, 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 I saw that just a little bit before you came over. Yeah. So, um, interesting news oh, in our, yeah, in our MCU. Go. Here we go. What do you think about the idea of Sam Raimi in talks to replace the Doctor Strange 2 director? Right. Uh, Derek Derrickson is his last name. Okay. But, uh, Steve Dur- Derrickson? There we go. Steve Boom. Derrickson. Steve Derrickson. Yeah. Directed the first Doctor Strange, correct? Dude, I don't remember. I think he did. Okay. He was, yeah. I think he, he, he was on the first, the, the, the first one was in talks to be the second one. That's and then right. there was. Yeah. Yeah. He's still going to EP, but whatever. That, that's um, just to make nice, but I'm intrigued. Okay. I don't know if Raimi's directing style is going to fit into this. That is my concern. Well, you, you and I talked about it on a previous show that we feel like the MCU movies might go darker. Sure. <laughs> and Raimi can do that. He can. I but would he not also have him done Multiverse of Madness, to be honest with you. Well, yeah, that's what he's doing. That, that's oh, what no, I'm no, no, oh, that, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say that the new, the new Morbius movie. That's oh, what yeah, I was yeah. That's Sorry. what I was getting at. My bad. Sorry. Yes, because Sorry. if you don't remember, kids, Spider-Man 4 was supposed to have Morbius and I believe the Lizard. Yes. Um, Finally. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was, it was what was going to happen. And yeah. then Sony was like, eh, we're, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're right. good. Each one of these has made less than the last, so. Um, but having said that, this is a quirk. This is going. If WandaVision's any um, idea of what's going to happen, I think he's right for this. Okay. It's got a lot. I mean, it's going to have a lot. It's going to be a quirky Marvel movie that is going to deal with dark stuff. And yeah. what is that? It's, that's Evil Dead in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> it's quirky and it's scary and it can be funny, but it's got this dark tone permeating the whole movie yeah. and Raimi can do it but again his directing chops in Spider-Man go back and watch those Spider-Man movies they do not hold up Spider-Man 2 is still pretty solid pretty rocks but, but <laughs> having said that <coughs> but that's more Alfred Molina just being awesome so, yeah just like yeah. being like you know what Dr. Doc Ock's kind of okay I'm gonna do something different You're right and and I and I appreciate it I, I loved it but Sam Raimi also greenlit that version of Venom so you know, um, and then let's not forget emo Spider-Man. And yeah, but that that made me laugh, and I think it made me laugh so much because everybody hated it so much. Um, and I'm glad that in uh, Into the Spider Verse they uh, they kind of touched on that. Right, he's like right. dancing and everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I'm gonna say something that's not that's not popular. Okay? Sure. Okay. I respect Sam Raimi, yeah, but know. I'm not. Re- I like Ash, but I don't really care for the evil like Evil Dead and. And Army of Darkness don't really do anything no, me for either. me. I'm not a huge fan. But I love the Ash character. Yeah, I love I mean, Bruce well, that, Campbell. Again, that's more to the Bruce Campbell. Yeah. yeah, Bruce Campbell. The um, man. Yeah, arguably my favorite Marvel Zombies storyline was Army of Darkness versus the Marvel Zombies. Right. It was excellent. When we get the reference to the Necro Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, again, I think if they can, same thing as I've heard, Raimi is hard to work with. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And he. That don't fly in the MCU, baby. No, man. No, I mean they couldn't you can even have work your with, vision, but they couldn't even work with Joss, and Joss seems pretty amenable as long as you let him do a couple things. He sure. seems fairly amenable, but yeah. yeah, it's um, I'm not I'm not over the moon about it. I would rather him be doing Sony's Morbius, uh, you know, if, if I had to choose, yeah, uh, because I do think that he could do that. Um, I just wonder if we'll get because that means we'll get Bruce Campbell in the MCU. And Which I'm stoked. Uh, I'm down with it. Uh, maybe we get Lucy Lawless too. Sure. To She's already in the MCU in Agents of Shield. She she had a small role in Agents of Shield. She did. Yeah, I, I would have liked for it to have stuck around. Sure. Um, she was like a, a she was a loyal agent of Shield, and then or she did contract work for Shield, and then after the fall, she was like helping uh, 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 Coulson oh, okay. take care of some cool. some wet work. Uh, but then she. Spoiler, she died in the show. And I was like, dang, man. Like, I would have loved to have Lucy Lawless right, in there totally. a lot longer. I think uh, Creel kills her, actually. Uh, oh, uh, absorbing her. Yeah. But I think it's interesting. I I don't dislike it. Nothing is set in stone. I can see that. I can actually see it not happening. No, because I can see it more not happening. I think it's something that, you know, again, it's rumor mill stuff. Yeah. And, there, and there's always a kernel of truth. And it, it, it probably someone talked to. Yeah, they're like, hey, are you interested? What do you think? In, yeah, are you interested in this? This is what this is our plan. Right. And then, can you do something within this plan? Right. And Who knows? We'll see. Who knows if he can? I, I don't. I don't know. But he's gotten older. Maybe he's just like, it, I mean, they get, it, you know, to get the keys to an MCU film, a sequel. Those are big shoes to fill too. Oh, yeah. Those are very big shoes to Steve fill. Steve Derrickson did a great job, Doctor Strange. Arguably, mm-hmm. one of my favorite MCU movies visually. Yeah, I find it to be. In many people's outside of, of uh, 
uh, Avengers actual films, it's usually in people's top five. Sure. Yeah. And it's the thing is though, Raimi is very practical, mm-hmm. effects driven. Yeah. I think that's where it, where we're gonna have some problems. Yeah. Because that's I why really... his movies don't necessarily hold up because he doesn't yeah. do practical well. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I, mean, I never look great. I never watched his uh, remake of Evil Dead, and I heard it was okay. Was but I heard, I heard the show was really good. I didn't see. That. I didn't see it either. Uh, yeah, but uh, our buddy Nate was. Uh, he was. He was really enjoying oh, it. Oh, really? So, yeah. I. Uh, uh, it's getting me worried though that they haven't figured this out yet because I mean Doctor Strange should be out next year. So yeah. like, let's get this done. Let's get this, you got to get going, man. Um, so again, we're, we're getting the cracks in the MCU already. Man. Yes. Yes. We're seeing cracks already. And uh, but I, I think that they're going to. And every but it. every dynasty has to have a have a yeah have, a, have some trouble. Yeah. How, how many? Had it too good for how too many long, home maybe. runs can you have? You know. I mean, there was a dark time from like 2000 to 2006. Yeah. You know, the movies were just okay. There right. was there was bright spots, but right. they were just okay. It was just like, meh. <laughs> All I want, though, I just want my Charlie Cox back. Yeah. 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 I, I can see that happening. And I mean, if you want to do kind of a bonus, um, I think that bringing in Charlie Cox is, is, is the move for, for um, Spider-Man 4 yeah, yeah. Yeah. as his lawyer yeah. I don't want to he didn't need a suit up Yeah, just just maybe give Pete some call, counsel yeah. you know <laughs> alright guys we break uh, the uh, Mrs. REC podcast showed up my, yeah. my beautiful wife Christine she likes to say hello to the audience yeah, um, <laughs> first time on the show. First time on the show. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're we're again we're behind we're, the scenes. We're in new digs, and uh, the behind the scenes is we're recording this in my new kitchen. So, um, yes, Charlie Cox yeah, coming back, back would be amazing. Right. Um, you know, I'm still holding out hope that we they're gonna they got to take another swing at Iron Fist, right? I hope so. They've got to. I hope so. God, we need another Iron Fist. I was looking at some cool Daredevil art the other day, and I was like, ah, and I, you know, I saw a cool uh, image from the Devil Inside and Out. Oh, nice. And I was like, God yeah. dang. I want to make, I want to custom. Hear, hear me out, guys. I need a custom Devil Inside and Out Daredevil, but but Danny Rand, Danny Rand with Iron Danny, Fist. Yeah, yeah, I need that. I would buy that. I don't, I don't care how. Let's just get it done. Yeah, let's make it happen. Come um, on out there. Let's make it happen. To kind of uh, round out w- w- what we're talking about MCU wise, we also had the uh, uh, Eternals. Yeah, wrapped up. Has wrapped up. Wrapped filming. Yeah. So we're in post now. Yeah. Um, obviously, they're going to be doing digital effects. Supposed to come out in November. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's fine. It's just it doesn't give us a lot of time for reshoots. No. So I'm concerned about that. Right. Um, but you can do reshoots in two weeks. Sure. But that means that post CG has got to be done. By June, yeah. because you know they want to show it in uh, in uh in San Diego, yeah, they to. they're gonna have to show something. clips. Yeah, something, um, I mean, this. I mean, I, I don't know. I hesitate to say this was plagued by production problems. Yeah, but was it? It it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, there's just some some rumors about uh, maybe the vision. It feels like the Eternals are gonna be the next big thing. Right, right. They want it to be, but maybe they don't know how to start it. <laughs> so I, I am concerned about that, but I trust Kevin Feige. If Kevin, if I was having a heart attack and Kevin Feige said I got this, right, right. I'd give him a shot. <laughs> I'd give him a shot, shot at the title, you know. <laughs> that, was a, that was a little inside joke there. Yeah, that was for Eric. <laughs> that, was that was for, for me. Eric. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to talk about our San Diego plans too. Yeah, I might, I might not be able to go this year. Well, I might, I might not be able to. You're gonna have to go though. Yeah, right? send Eric. Icarus out there yeah, I'm doing those you, nervous interviews. Yeah, we're going to get you a weird van that you can live out. And uh, <laughs> and then you can re- – you know, but what's funny is that, yeah, in a sea of, of – and I'm going to say it, kids. Weird nerds a lot. Uh, people who don't seem to socially function uh, on a higher level. They are arguably better behind the camera than you are. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh! I, yeah, uh, that was my first run, dude. And, I, I've uh, done interviews, and the, again, I just got some bad advice. Yeah, they were like, I, I was talking to a fellow interviewer, and he's like, oh, "These people love enthusiasm, <laughs> so you need to go." I think he was trying to sandbag me. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, check out our YouTube channel because we have some Eric doing some interviews at Colorado Springs Comic Con uh, uh, of, of 2019. Yes. So um, it's good. It actually is. There is some good information. A lot of cosplay stuff. Oh yeah, big um, time. Gets but, good towards the end. Eric, uh, you know, he's finding his way. You know, he's, he's spreading his wings and he's flying. Okay? <laughs> and, and you got to do that, and I'm proud of you. 
and I'm proud I of you. I appreciate that. And on that note, kids, sorry for the interruption. No, I'm not. Uh, that's our show. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave us a like. Leave us a comment. I'd love to hear yeah, what you guys come think. On, give us something. Were guys. you blown away by those Disney Plus trailers? Yes. Because I was. Yeah. Are you um, sad about Kirk Douglas dying? Dude, I'm sad about Kirk Douglas. Just Kirk and Kobe, just just playing it out in the heaven. Two Ks, uh, man. Yeah, two Ks. You know, Looking it's if, if, uh, just a, a a rough couple of weeks. You know, a rough couple of weeks for entertainment. Kate Moss goes, man. Oh, the, the K's yeah. Man. Then then we're done. Then we're done. Um, Eric. Yes. I'm not asking what you learned oh, anymore. Why? I want to know your final thoughts. You want my final thoughts? What, thought? what, 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 what are your thoughts on today? You know, I, I feel like I feel like we're in a new dynasty here with Marvel. Yeah. And I think this can go either way. Yeah. And I feel like when someone is 103, they need to die. Yeah. They need to go out. They need yeah. to leave this mortal coil. Yeah, they're kind of being selfish. Is yeah, that what you're saying? Time. Yeah. They're taking yeah. my air. Yeah. I mean, you know that, I mean? That, yeah, Kirk, Kirk was the man. Uh, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna miss. Hearing the updates. I've been paying attention to updates on Kirk Douglas for months. What are you serious? I have no idea why. Okay. I have no idea why. And I, I think I looked it up once and then it just kept showing up in my feed and I, <laughs> and I didn't you know, block them or anything. Right, right, right. But uh, yeah, I was concerned about Kirk Douglas. Um, I'm now concerned about uh, James Earl Jones, okay? Uh, I'm, putting that, I'm putting that out there, okay? Uh, uh, well, my final thought would be I am Spartacus. You are. You are Spartacus. We are Spartacus. We are also Groot. Thank you so much for listening to the show. I have been your host, Roman Chavez. I'm still Eric Icarus. And on the one and twos, we have my lovely wife, Christine. Yeah. Uh, Keeping it real behind the scenes. Signing us. off, and we will catch you on the next podcast. Yep.